One, two, three, for you and me, baby. Hi. Oh, that's Yumiko. Her name is a thing that you say with letters, and it makes my heart grow. I don't know how we got here. I don't know where I am. I don't. Who are who are you again? Um, hey, hi ho, and howdy, everyone. My name is Shannon Oshug, and hopefully I'm in frame. I don't know how to wiggle around the camera just a wee bit. Also, hopefully the video might even look a little bit better now than it usually does, unless it doesn't because what I did didn't fix anything. If that is the case, um. Let's just pretend this never happened. Um, anyway. Hey, hi-ho, and howdy, everyone. My name is Shannon Shulkin. Welcome yet again to another episode of The Fruit of Grossai. This time it would be, uh, I do believe, a 33. That's like one of these, but there's actually two of them. It's like, and if you put on its side, you can kind of make it look like that. Is that, wait. 30. 30. How do numbers work? Um, anyway, point is, 30. No, it would be over. It would be over this way. Wait. I don't remember how cameras work either. Anyway, point is, yeah, we're here for another episode of The Fruit of Grisaya. I'm all about it. I'm loving it. Hopefully, maybe, possibly, let's keep it that way. I don't know. It's always a, always, always a question with the game because you're always like... We're good, right? We still good? We still good? And then occasionally, just every once in a while, just the teeniest tip, just just, just right up in there, just the teeniest tip of something questionable and tragic, and I don't know what it is, but it concerns me, especially when it involves Best Muffin. It's not so bad when it involves you. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make a conscious effort to leave her the fuck alone because I'm just being mean at this point. She is a lovely person. I have nothing against that character anymore. Like, she she hasn't done anything, like, shitty in forever. It's just really funny to me to have that be a running gag. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. Anyway, what happened last episode? Well, we met uh, Tuna Fish Man and General Spare Ribs and No 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 and Renge. And I liked it, but it also went on for a very long time. And it didn't help when I just kept saying shit. And making it take longer. So I'm sorry for that. Um, anyway, yeah. I, I was going to say, all their things happened. But, like, Makina was evil and ate Mitru's pudding. So now she is the worst girl. Um, but I'm just saying, beyond that, there wasn't a ton that happened. Um, anyway, beyond those things, obviously. Shit happened. I'm just... Moving on. Um, Yumiko, yes, hello. Is it me? You're looking for. So uh, is, is that is that a no? I, I wouldn't blame you. I've been kind of a douchebag. Well, that sounds pleasant. What's up, baby girl? How's it going? What's up? I get... <sighs> Let me dust off the old glasses here so I'm making sure I'm 100% invested in, in in the and in the situation with what the fuck ever am I talking about um it is it is a I've noticed it's been a little bit of a weird one recording wise like every time I'm gonna try and say something my brain is like I forgot what we oh we're recording shit wait you're on camera get your shit together it's doing that the entire time the last two videos I recorded yesterday it's ridiculous like a donkey. Um, so that's probably going to happen in this one too. I apologize. I don't know what it is. My brain's just toast. Work was a thing. Um, anyway. You know what isn't a thing? A lovely peaceful Sunday afternoon. It is a lazy time full of freedom. But for some reason it also seems to inspire a deep melancholy in many people. I guess feeling a little down about the approach of Monday is understandable. But why waste the free time you have left by sinking into sentimental... Em emus. So we're gonna say that that says. Um, it's a very Japanese thing. 
Uh, because of my occupation, I've made a lot of friends overseas. They tend to enjoy their days off without thinking of any of the gloom. To quote, why I think about that nonsense, or why think about that nonsense when there's partying to do. Ha ha ha. Also, I just realized I should probably say some stuff. Uh, we had <laughs> we had 300 subscribers uh, the other day. That's fucking awesome. Obviously, I made a video on it, and I've talked about it in all the other videos. I say that I've talked about them in one. I. I'm recording this fairly early in the week, but I will be talking about it and all the other ones too. I just wanted to, yeah, thank you guys. Shout out. You guys are amazing. Sorry to take the detour, but this, that means a lot. Uh, there's polls and stuff in the description if you guys care to check them out. They're pretty self-explanatory as to what they're for. Um, but yeah, anyway, just wanted to throw that out there. You guys are fucking great. Probably as a result of spending so much time with those guys. I'm not the type who gets depressed or wistful on my days off. But among my classmates at the school, there seem to be a few who suffer from the typical Japanese late weekend blues. It's my uh, just a sweet, tasty jams, uh, the late weekend blues. You go to a nice coffee shop, maybe a coffee curry place. Maybe you meet a man named Sojiro Sakura. Um, you know, maybe 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 his 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 fr uh, friendo uh, ward charge in. Uh, kid person is there and he makes some cool coffee and at night he fights crime in people's minds it really want to play through persona again um anyway i can understand in theory but it's honestly pretty hard to empathize <laughs> oh hi satan how you doing <laughs> little little muffin creature uh makina practically skips down the road playing with a strange keychain i need more stuff for my keychains I got a Mitsuha keychain thing, accessory, that came with my Nendroid, or an Nendro however the fuck. I got, came with one of those. It doesn't say it comes with one of those, it just was in the box. What the fuck was that about? I don't know, but it's great and I love it and it's on my thing now, so. Fuck you. Um. <laughs> Again, I love you guys, you guys are great. Uh, at a glance. This looks like a pretty plain little figurine. Is that thing really as rare as all that? Fucking of course it is. Why would I expect anything less than more tuna fish, man? Is that, is that how it is? Tuna fish man again. I've got to keep my eye on that one. I've been training my body as I usually do on the weekends, but Makina persistently hung around, pestering me to take her to the shopping district by the station, so here we are. Lately, the girl's been furtively buying toys like this whenever she goes out with me, probably because Amine gets mad when she wastes too much money on stupid crap. Understandable, as someone who... wastes money on stupid crap. Um, Don't mention this to Amine. She'll get a little cranky at me for encouraging your bad habits. Mama ain't gonna have it, and it's gonna be real bad. I say, I, I, I say, what? Um, throw a line from some daytime soap opera at me, will you? Amane really needs to stop watching that crap. No wonder she thinks like a 50 year old. Wait, what? Um, <laughs> I have no idea when I started doing that in my life. Saying what as what? But, <laughs> but it's still just the funniest fucking thing in the world to me. And it's not funny. It isn't. It has never been funny. It has never been anything but fucking obnoxious, annoying, loud, and stupid. And I will never not stop laughing at it. So you fuckers have to suffer because of it, I guess, is basically what I'm saying. So I apologize, but also, you're welcome. Um... Having assumed the bad influence of the dirty old lady, Makina lives with, uh, lives with was responsible for that line. I'm flustered to find the finger pointed at me instead. Makina narrows her eyes to slits and turns to me with a smirk. She got them goat eyes. She is scary when she gets all up in your business like that. Um, also, uh, um, 
気をつけた方がいいのよ Yeah, apparently. Um, apparently. Apparently, um, apparently quite pleased about having cut me down to size, Makina cheerfully jogs on ahead of me. Avna and the others did say that my behavior has been influencing Makina, but hearing it outright from the girl herself is a bit of a shock. Seems I really do need to watch my step. It's true, you're a terrible influence. I don't get it. I'm in the workplace. I was considered something of a moral exemplar. Something that he cannot legally be classified as anywhere but there, apparently. Um, Makina suddenly stops a few steps ahead of me and points down the street. Oh, you were talking about something. I apologize. Um, a hundred meters or so ahead, there's something unusual enough to halt even Makina's momentum. What's up? Oh shit, it's going down. It's getting real. Super spy music. I love it. Um, in front of Mishima, Ki M M Mishima a Cape Station, um, a cordon of jet black luxury cars have blocked off the road where the local buses usually stop. Ten odd men wearing suits mill about the area, looking for aliens, dude. Don't let them get you with the flashy thing. Um, talking into the cell phones, restlessly checking their watches, or discussing some uh, something in small small groups. Hey man, did you see that that one figure with the lady with the big titties that came out uh, yesterday? It's pretty cool. Had that shit pre-ordered. Be arriving tonight, and I will also be uh, arriving at my destination tonight. Jim, you're a fucking freak. Get away from me! <laughs> always laugh at your own jokes, folks. It's it's always it's always a good luck. <laughs> Jim's a fucking weirdo, though. Because no normal person would even think about doing questionable shit while looking at... I plead the fifth? Um, anyway. Dude, I get a mo fucking Mitru figure. It ain't gonna matter. I'll, I don't give a damn. Um, you... <laughs> For Yakuza, they're too wide collar. They don't have the intimidating, aggressive body language characteristic of gangsters. Yeah, plus they're not walking around going, "Hey, what? What's you? What? What's a good fucking mobster voice?" Hey, I'm walking, hitting on this guy. Got nothing. Uh, that said, this punch aren't exactly inviting either. Most people would probably give him just a wide berth. Uh, I already established it was the men in black. You just don't pay attention. Um, don't know, but whoever they are, they're not with anyone we want to be involved with. Nor are they anyone we want to be involved with. Whoever's with them may be pretty, so we might want to get involved. Um, if they were friendly, respectable guys, they wouldn't block the road in such a nakedly intimidating way. Spooky scary, like the skeletons. Um, I haven't often seen Makina admit to being frightened like this. The girl's brave enough to grab snacks, uh, snakes and centipedes with her bare hands, but... To grab snacks. What the fuck? Um, but something about that group seems to be bothering her quite strongly. She's obviously very uncomfortable. No reason to hang around here. Alright, I think it's time to head back. Instead of those guys, maybe you should start worrying about the homework you still ain't started, huh, baby girl? Chop, chop, get to it. Come on now. You ain't getting no Cheetos if, <laughs> if you don't hurry up. What was that sound? Um, he's a dark and cruel man. Uh, yeah, yeah, don't just stand there. Let's get moving. You. How about that? You like them apples, huh? Little. Apple muffin. Bitch, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, mocking is great. I'm n I don't mean the things I say sometimes. <laughs> it was funny to me. As Makina holds her head in her hands and moans, I poke I poke her in the back. Um urging her down the street towards the dorm. As she finally starts to walk, I shoot a quick glance back up towards the station area. The group of men in business suits has come to attention, facing the ticket gate in apparent anticipation. Dude, that figure. Dude, it's here. And Jim, we don't give a fuck. L Stop. I don't... This is the twelfth time you've told us about this. We didn't care the first time. 
It's the fucking body pillows all over again. I got the fucking championship bumper. I got 25 four of them in two days. I don't give a fuck, Jim. I don't give a damn. I got one and that's all I need. Here you go, I'm coming home. Um, anyway. <laughs> Just now, a special express train seems to be pulling in. The station employees are running around making preparations of some sort. Some sort of big, sh big shots arriving. Yeah. One of them damn big shots you hear so much about. I'm walking here. Um, what? Um, Makina looks up at me with a distinctly uneasy expression. Oh, well, it's nothing. Don't worry. I ruffle Makina's hair gently and do my best to reassure her. Give her one of them little floofy dupes is apparently what that's called now with my fucked up vocabulary um we walk back to the school still a little tense from our encounter with the mysterious group uh, what is up bubblegum pop pop baby girl um when i enter the dorm with makina sachi turns to greet us with her usual smile it is a lovely smile it may be the weekend, but apparently she has decided to spend it scrubbing the hallways clean. As always, our maid's zeal for her duties hold no bounds. Also, the word was not hold. Um, yo, yo, let's get started, yo. I'm sorry. It's not even the line, but I'm just, I'm in a... Chica got me fucked up for two weeks in a row. Um... <laughs> Is true. And we brought the sexy back. <sighs> Sorry. Ooh, a hot bath. I love it. Separately. Not that far in the game yet. Calm down. Um. Please don't say it like that. It sounds questionable. Um, all of a sudden, I seem to have developed a ferocious headache. I press my hand on my forehead and close my eyes, but I can't express my a bitter grimace. Dude, headaches are the worst. I, I'm fucking every fucking day with me, my man. It's the worst. Like is one thing, but Sachi too. Where did we go so wrong? Uh. <laughs> I think she might actually be a fucking demon with mind powers and shit, man. I think, I think people are like, well, don't worry, the game gets dark. Don't worry about that. That's what happens. Machina comes out, boom, like her demon form and just starts killing everybody and being like, I knew the whole time. That, that's apparently her demon voice. I knew the whole time what you were thinking, Mr. Huge. And he's like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And she's like. Neither do I, honestly. This doesn't make a ton of sense in comparison to what's actually being stated in this joke of Shannon's, which has gone on far too long and wasn't funny in the first place. And... Point is, she has mind powers. As a time wizard myself, I, I can respect it. Um... <coughs> oh, throat, don't do it. Don't go reading my inner monologue. When, uh, what did you do to Sachi? This is your fault, I assume. What? what? Woman, what are you? Um, listen to me when I'm talking to you. Also, don't turn people into slutty maids. That's... I don't. I'm not saying I wholly disapprove, but I'm just saying I kind of do a little. You... You're a bad influence yourself. You can't be trusted. Espe again, she'll listen to anything. I could tell her, uh, the fucking sky is red, and she wouldn't give a damn. She'd be like, the scales have fallen from my eyes. She would... Look at... <sighs> You're dangerous. Um... Baby girl, you're fine. Relax, you're better than fine, even. Just... That is complete nonsense. Please stop dancing on Makina strings. Mitru, you got any problems you need taken care of? And can I film it? Um. Pardon. Pardon. 
お口ならばいつでも捧げあどうぞ。Get out here, Amane! Do 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 do! Damn it! Amane appears in no time at all, still gr、uh, gripping a potato in one hand. She favors me with a look of undisguised annoyance. Hey, I'm a little concerned about something here. These girls are getting worse by the day. Might that, fault, or might that possibly be my fault? Huh? Have you heard words that come out of their mouths? It's bad. Um. Dangerous. This is all your、uh, terrible,、uh, questionable sex talk you always throw into these videos, Yuji. That was definitely you who said it all the time and not me. I mean, I wouldn't be so callous or stupid or simple or questionable as to. Open up literally the past like two or three videos talking about. I wouldn't do that. I'm a very good person. Um, I see. I had a sense of such a crisis, or that such a crisis might be approaching after mocking his words earlier. It's still, blow, it's still something of a blow to face my fears made reality. Makina mo satcha mo, Yuji ga kite irai. どんどん口も性格も悪くなっているというか。Oh, we've discussed the mouth. Don't, don't worry about it.、Um, 上の口は悪くなろうとも、下の口はこういい具合に。You just gotta burn this whole school to the ground, Yuji. They can't, they can't be saved. Look at this. She can't be saved anyway. <laughs> Again, it, you bite the bullet on this one, Yuji. I didn't do anything. I'm such a good boy.、Um, yeah, she obviously picked up that nonsense just now from a man, and I guess that means me. Sorry, I've seen the error of my ways. <sighs> Omni answer is an exasperated Kansai dialect. It seems to have concluded that my rep repentance isn't going to produce any real results. And I guess she's probably right. But I'm now firmly convinced that, by my, that my behavior has been a bad influence on my two younger classmates. I'll try to tone down the guy talk and stick to nice, harmless chats about pasta or whatever. You can do both. I'd fuck pasta. I'm so okay. I'd stop. Motherfuck. Okay. Never mind. Yeah. It was me. It's all my fault. Yuji's fine. He didn't do nothing. He's. <gasps> hey! Hi, how you doing? Talk about mouths. How, how are you doing? Hey, Amine, we have one here that doesn't seem to have been influenced by me in the least. Can I use her as mitigating evidence? Again, she's too fucking in. She don't know what shit even is. Probably. I still don't know whatever you do with that baseball bat. Um, sorry, impossible. I throw myself on the mercy of the court. Um, leave her alone. <laughs> You're amazing, baby girl. That's all that matters. God. Damn, earning that title, Rose Master, still. I. <sighs> I mean, I, again, I am 100% on board you being fine. Like wine, goddammit. Except for the fact that I hate wine, so that's a terrible example. Fine, like a, like a pina colada. I mean, you kind of even look like you would be the personification of a pina colada. I mean, the pineapple, you got some coconut for like the shirt. 
in this case, an external influence or two could be pretty much on or could pretty much only be a good thing. Fuck my words. Um. That said, the thought of Mitru uh, remade in the image of Machina sends a cold shiver down my spine. It is... It's something that gives me fear, but it's also something that gives me joy. It's a difficult issue that I face in my heart. Um, we've got nothing but eccentrics in this dorm as it stands. I'd really like to avoid ad uh, adding that sort of hybrid super pest to the mix. Clinging Tom and Amakini reports their earlier events. Nah, they weren't freaky scary like something I could see you driving. You are a fucking nightmare in your own regards. I love you, but. Tell me I'm lie to my face. Um <laughs> Yeah, there's Yeah, you're you're screwed on that one, Yuji. You, there's no backing out of that. You you've done this. I can't believe you've done this. Um, but you did. Um sorry, I've seen the error of my ways. Huh. <sighs> Mm -hmm, pitch black, like that movie with the Riddick in it. Um, I'm not gonna go ahead and explain it. I'll, uh, I'll leave. Michiru sama, smoke glass. Yeah. Eh, what is that? Glass is being broken. You tried, baby girl. You you did. You, you just yeah. We'll just we'll just let her. Smoke and cheese. Um, she she tried. She's she is trying to use the brain. We gotta give her this one, huge. I say points to Gryffindor on this one. なんか面倒くさい流れね。要するにエンチリーとかリクサスとかその手の高級車ってことでしょ。そうなのよさ。あ、そっか。今日。ああ。あんたいつもあれが来るときって朝から寮の中にいたから大名行列のことを知らなか
I get it. I get it. I don't get it. What? Um. I still don't know what that word means. <sighs> what is up, ma'am? It has been a solid second since I seen that face of yours. How you doing? Hi. Yes, I understand. But it's scheduled. Yes. Yumiko is in the school. I'm gonna say, I don't like the uh, less than positive overall tone I'm getting from, uh, you know, from this individual that everyone be talking to, like from Yumiko and from her, and just the general air of things, whoever it is, kinda sounds like they might just be a douchebag, and um, that's not cool. Could be wrong, of course. But, uh... I can see it happening. Here I was thinking, thinking the job of a principal consisted solely of signing off on paperwork. It seems I was mistaken. I owe you an apology, ma'am. You Anyway, there's something I wanted to ask you about. But I like the airflow, though. It's stuffy in here, ma'am. Whoops. Sorry about that. My bad. My B. As it do. Um, after swinging the overly ornate door shut, and I straddle his fucking chair, um, I wander over to the espresso machine and pour out two cups of coffee. I can respect it, my lad. Y'all got some, like, fucking hazelnut syrup in there somewhere? I just ran out. This is my last cup. I want some more. Um, shit's expensive. Um, I set the cups down on the table, especially when you're a fat guy and you put way too much. Um, just the sort of dignified slab of wood you'd expect a raging, a raging giant monkey to fling dramatically through some window. Are you trying to reference something specifically, or are you just being weird? Because, like... Where you see all these giant monkeys from, boy? Um, also, don't think I read that last part. <sighs> the principal grumbles a bit of my confident movements, but nonetheless sits down across from me without being asked. <sighs> Any chance you got no lewds of Mitru around here? Do you? Um, no, no. Okay. Uh, you. Uh, that's his name, not his words that he said. Um, Amine told me that there's a parent-teacher conference taking place today. Insert quotation marks here, obviously, for emphasis. Can I meet Mitra's parents and hopefully they're nice and I can be all like, yo, I want to marry your daughter, though. And then she'd be like, what? And they'd be like, what? And I'd be like, yeah, sunglasses. And then I'd, we'd drive off into the sun and the sky, Greece style but with significantly less of the weird shit that's in the... It was a different time back then. Um, there's like a whole song in that that's really kind of borderline rapey. Um, history is interesting when you pay attention to the entertainment of the past. Um, <coughs> got tickle in my throat. Sorry. It's just, uh, it's all my cool coming up from that car right <coughs> fuck me um please um i think you're aware but it's the weekend there are no classes for anyone to sit in on and there shouldn't be any teachers here to have a conference with weird enough on top of it all you're at the school for some reason yes what is this? shenanigans <laughs> madam explain thyself to detective huge um Kazumi Yuji, occupation detective. Um, detective. Also, there was a clump of expressive, expe fuck, expensive. Let me do the joke. Um, also, there was a clump of expensive jet black cars sticking out like a sore thumb around the station this afternoon. And finally. Saigoni? Finally, yes. I haven't seen Sakaki all day. <laughs> What's with that shit? 
I don't know much anything about her background, but that aloof attitude makes me think of a family environment is uh, probably unusual. Father, mother, both might be a bit of a douchebag or douchebags. Plural. Get that fucking yeah ready, cause I'm gonna hit him with a with a hard one here in a little bit. And John, from the way the others reacted, all this seems to be connected. My interact track. But I gotta go outside to the to the track. To Yeah that didn't work. Um I tried and it super did not work. Um it's a private matter, after all. I didn't feel comfortable dragging it out of them, so I came over to get the story from a more official source. So? The principal lets out a single sigh and stands up on the sofa. Opening a desk drawer, she takes out a brochure, then returns and drops it on the desk in front of me. It's the... Oh my god. Uh, it's the familiar Mihama Academy admissions pamphlet. This. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Um, yeah, although I just flipped through it, really. Uh, the sort of informal bro or informational shit um, brochure is generally packed with thinly disguised advertising or obtuse legal disclaimers. Sounds about right. Either way, it tends to involve a lot of flowery, empty phrases, not genuine facts and figures. Oh, those are over on my on my on my bookshelf. Um, got a little menma, and she's so cute, and she's a little muffin, and there's a holo up there. And I got a and I got a Weiss and she's all like dramatic and like yeah and then and then I got a fucking naked signed picture of it should go it's I'm not twisted enough to find pleasure in picking out all the lies and half truths I can find this in this sort of thing I hate that I can't say sentences sometimes um. This pamphlet in particular was written about this truly bizarre academy of ours. I expect there's more lies than half-truths, and mostly pretty blatant ones at that. Sounds about right. I would. Principal Tajibana flips the pamphlet open to the first page. Bitch didn't read the first page. You gotta at least get the first two, and that's where you just give up. So at least you can hit that much. Maybe also get, like, the ending paragraph or something, just so you kind of... You got some wiggle room, my boy. Um, just as I expected, it's filled with pseudo-poetical sentences describing the school and its mission in highly exaggerated terms. We intend to create some of the most kick-ass waifus in the history of, uh, visual novels. And we succeeded. Mitru comes flying through the fucking window. I did it! Woo! Um, and that's... Cut to black. Finn. I don't know why... <laughs> why that would be how the commercial ends, but... It's dramatic. Um... The principal is pointing to the opposite page. On the upper half of the brochure, there's words Principal Tachibana Chizuru. Chizuru. Um. I want some chorizo. Um. Accompanied by a weirdly formal photo portrait. And then we have the chairman of the board of the, tru of the trustee. That does not sound as good as chairman of the board of trustees, rather than the trustees. Fuck this brochure is what I'm telling you. Um, accompanied by a different name. I think I know where this is going. Sakaki Michiaki. Michiaki. Don't you dare try and sully Michi's name. Um, with your half it's effort bullshit. So this would be... The principal nods deeply. So yo, Sakaki Michiaki. It would be interesting if it was, but I mean, shit happens. I don't know. So lay it on me. Was I correct from before? Is he a douchebag? Because, I mean... Again, you Makomi ain't my favorite. But, uh... If he's a douche... That's not cool. I don't, I don't like that. Especially if he's like a douche to his daughter. Or to meet your, I will fucking kill a man. Um. Oh. oh. What's up, baby girl? How you, how you how you doing? How you holding up? Everything good? Probably not. No. Okay. Sakaki Michiaki について, you know how long you've been I just I don't. 
All I know is I don't like that his first part of his name starts with Meech, because that's all I ever fucking call Meechru now. It's a term of infection and endearment. I love her. Um, as much as the next guy, no more. I haven't had any reason to look too deeply into him. Sakaki Miyach Michaki, uh, it's gonna fuck with me every time, uh, is a name you find find extremely frequently in the papers, magazines, and television news. Not fucking here. Not in Montana. Doesn't help that I don't ever read any of that shit. Um, the East Beach Express Group, owners of the rail network with the prominent line running through the east coast of the Kanto region. I was always more of an SSAN fan. I don't, I'm, uh, you know, it's just me, uh... Gotta go help that pat that guy on the back, cause he got vomit. That was a that was a thing that happened in that game. Do you remember that? You had to go take care of a vomiting sea captain, and then he gave you cut. Was it cut? He gave you some shit. It was weird. It's like he had to. I swear you had to like rub his back. It was weird. It was Pokemon though, so I love it anyway. I don't give a damn. Um. Oh, as this powerful corporate body's president, it's only natural that he's referenced in the media on a regular basis. On the surface, he's the head of the leading Japanese business conglomerates and extravagant multimillionaire. Behind the scenes, he's a heartless tyrant, ruthlessly wielding brute force to perpetrate the aggressive expansion of his company's rail network. He doesn't hesitate to shatter the lives of those who stand as what? Sounds like an asshole. I think he was right. In particular, there's a lot of talk about this borderline fraudulent tactics on acquiring, acquiring land. Apparently a legacy of the previous president. Under his leadership, the group has earned a friendly nickname, uh, Eager Bandit Express. I'm not particularly interested in this sort of gossip. The fact that I know his name is a decent indication of just how much of an infamous celebrity the man really is. Well, it's about the extent of my knowledge. I hope this is the part where you tell me I've gotten the wrong idea about the guy. <laughs> Your face radiates that. Yeah. Yeah. The principal takes a brief sip of her coffee. I'm sorry, you were having a nice conversation. I, I fucked it up. Um, it's not the case? It's not the case. Yep. Kinda sounds like a douchebag. Um, I imagine there's a fair amount of reason to it. There's a reason for- Huge, you have a brain! Cool! Wait, I have a brain- We both have brains! Cool! Um, I have clicked wrongly. Um, after stopping the alarm, the principal glances back at me. No, I don't think that's a good idea. The man comes all the way out here to visit his daughter's school, then leaves without ever meeting her. From that behavior, it's pretty clear the story of Mihama Academy's founding is directly connected to Sakaki's past and family circumstances, even if the principal doesn't spell it out for me. I don't think it would be right to hear anything more than this, uh, more, yeah, more than this from a third party. I'm sure it involves more complex reasons she has for being here that you were hesitant about to talk about last time. That mean you have to tell me, you'd have to tell me things my classmate wants to keep to herself, and if you left the sensitive parts out, I'd just end up with a half an unpleasant story, which is just as bad. So. I gotta give it to him, yeah, you, you, you're right. I'm just looking to avoid making my life more complicated than it needs to be. Never mind, he might also just be an asshole sometimes. We, we've established this. Um, I stand up on the couch and begin to move uh, toward the door. But before I can make my exit, the principal's words bring me to a halt. え、に
特に父親の来る時はピリピリしていて近寄りがたいからその点あなたは最近榊さんとも交流があるみたいだし like, he ain't great but he's a lot better at it than I am I'll give him that I'm the fucking worst um I don't know where you got that information but it must be a pretty shaky source not any closer to Sakaki than the others are if anything it's the opposite そうなのあなただったら少しは榊さんのケアもしてあげられるかと思ったんだけど She's trying to hit you with your guilt. Hit you in the guilt receptors, my boy. Um, act on the basis of wishful thinking and you'll never get anything done. More importantly, don't you have a VIP to roll out the red carpet for? <laughs> I'll be leaving now. I sort of sensed this in our previous conversation as well, but the principal seems to be expecting some sort of convenient chemical reaction between me and the other students. Yes, I'm putting an effort towards creating something like a student life for myself, which means I'm trying to maintain a basic standard of communication with my classmates. But if that were to cross the line, if I were to push my way into their private lives, there's no way it would end well for anyone involved. After all, we're talking about people driven into something very close to an isolation facility. In the worst case scenario, prying could quite literally be a lethal mistake. If I ever get involved in their problems, it's only going to be to reach out、uh, when they reach out to me on their own initiative. Since Sakaki hasn't shown any intention of doing so, I'm not going to make the first move, and I'm convinced that that's the, correct, that's the correct policy. Damn it! The principal never gives me anything but trouble. It's time to go. 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 You, you, you know what you do, Sachi. You good. I don't trust you to say hello. I say that with love and kindness, but I don't trust you to be the one to do it. I don't trust you to be the one to do it. I don't trust you to be the one Even if you don't fuck up. Again, he sounds like a douchebag. ユミコのお父さんに会ったことあるのうちの父さん料理人じゃないだからいろんなところと交流があってねそれでここに入る前に挨拶だけはしたんだけどさうんあまりいい気分にはならなかったんですねなんかね月並みな言い方だけど目が笑ってなかったんだよね榊さんのお父さん、うん Right. Oh shit, I'm sorry. I you finished. I'm sorry. 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 I'm so fucking sorry. I can't stop. Fuck. Ah. I don't know. I mean, no, but you could have one anyway. Bitch. Yeah, so no, I get it. It's a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a l i t いつも通りのルートで進めてくれあの
一応視察のコースはこちらで決めていたのですがいつも通りのルートで結構別の場所を見る必要はないし時間を割くなどもってのほかだ、はい、では行こうかなんかこうちょっと扱いの面倒な発電所を押し付けられた感じなのよね、うん、ここの町にとっての学園がですか平時だったらどうということはないんだけど仮に何かがあった場合住んでる人の不安感ってのはそりゃすごいと思うわよ失礼よね人をそんな扱いしちゃって Yeah Again Like I, I get it I know y'all got your problems and you're definitely Again, I'm sure you guys got some serious fucking problems. I just ain't fully seen them all yet. But, yeah. Again, you gotta. Y'all still people, too. Fucking cool people. Demo, so sad to you, Nadi, you mean any more, how does it not? So they were. まあだからこそのこの視察なのよね何も問題ないですよ大丈夫ですよってアピールのために時々こうして大ボスがやってきて適当にうろうろして帰っていく貝割れやほうれん草食べるのと同じなのよさだよねつかそうでもしないといつ学園の排斥運動とか起こってもおかしくないもん私たちやっぱり邪魔なんでしょうか no, you're なあサチ、you good、um... <笑>うん、そうじゃないってだからこそみんな街では頑張っていい子にしてるんだしこうやってボスが来た時もひっそりとおとなしくしてるんだからうんでもまあ一番つらいのは榊さんよねやっぱり。Do apologize, really got real quiet. Maybe that's a good thing, but、uh, I don't know. I'm just paying attention. そうですよ、ね。For fucking once. Um. Oh, hey, baby girl, how you doing? 校舎から出てきたわね。The wind is fucking blowing like crazy all up in your skirt business. That just seems unpleasant. Damn, um. <laughs> as soon as I opened the door to the rooftop, I met with a piercing glare. That sounds about right. Much like the last time we met here, Sakiki is standing straight as an arrow near the edge of the roof, her hair dancing in the sea breeze. But unlike last time, there's an undisguised hostility in her eyes. Yo. What, what's, what's poppin'? Babe. Um. Holding eye contact, I answer her sharp gaze with a light greeting. She's clearly on her guard, so I strap my approach with a good distance still separating us. What are you talking about? The reason I'm here. Of course, is that what I,、uh, is that what I was slightly worried about? A certain woman I knew would be brooding all by herself. I figured it out. I figured out how the sentence worked after I reread it about five times.、Um, thanks to that meddlesome principles and solicited tip, I knew Sakiki's location and have been handed the information. And the,、uh, the idea of leaving her up there all alone started to feel strangely unpleasant. I think you just figured out what the term empathy fucking means.、Um, I didn't believe the day would ever come.、Um, Of course, if I told、uh, Sakaki to play the, the fucking Christ, the plain truth in this situation, there's no doubt she'd aggressively reject my concern. A coincidence? Uh, own coincidence, of course. I did hear today was a slightly special date, though. <laughs> so instead, I offer up a vague mixture of lies and truth. The ball's in Sakaki's court now. So, Naraba, so to stay away to Hanashkake. I'm sorry, damn it, finger. Um, don't worry. I didn't start the conversation last time either, remember? そうだったわね。サキキ breaks her sidelong glare in my direction, her gaze returning to the ground below. 
Since the dorm is only three, only a three-story building, the people below are clearly visible from a vantage point of the rooftop. Just now, the principal is leading a man in an expensive, dark-looking gray suit, which seems to be his entourage, and what seems to be his entourage in our direction. <laughs> Sakagi purses her lips tightly. As, from the, as the approaching figures draw closer, she pulls herself back from the edge of the roof, or just far enough that she can't be seen from the ground. Her placement clearly conveys her desire to observe and her absolute rejection of being observed in return. <laughs> I jumped on the not liking him train fucking immediately, apparently. I'd... Yeah, um, there's a voice from below. Because again, like I even mentioned this earlier in... Um, in the Discord, because I was talking shit about Yumiko, because of course I was. Uh, um, like, again, I, I do... I, I give her a lot of shit, but it is 100% meant as a joke. I do like her as a character. I find her interesting, and I want to know more about her. Again, I would imagine there's a lot of reasons she acts the way she did when we first met her, and just in general, you know, still here now. Um, and it's one of those things where, like, again, like, Mitru, again, she kind of... It, she intrigues me on almost every level. Again, fucking obviously. Um, but a lot, of, most of the other girls don't have that as much. Not saying that they're bad or anything like that. It's just I connected that character way more than I connected the other ones. That being said, I still really am interested in their stories and their backgrounds and their futures and all that. I still find them very interesting, and there's still a lot I like about their personalities. Like again, I still really, really like Amine. Uh, I still really, really like Sachi, and while I do personally like the other two a bit less, I don't hate them by any means. And I do want to know what's up with them, and why they are the way they are, and I do care about them as characters, and as people, and whatnot. I, I, would, I want to know what's up with them, and if I can help. I can't do shit, they're fictional, you know what I mean. But like, for the sake of the game, and all that, you know what I'm saying. So, I don't know, again... You know, having having thoughts as to what's up with her, and no doubt ha him having a fair bit to deal with it. Um, uh, there's probably more to it as well, but I would have no doubt that he has a big contributing factor to a lot of the ways that she is, um, the way she is. Um, yeah, I don't know. Again, I might be 100% on Mitru's team in this, but uh, that doesn't mean I don't... I don't still care about all the other characters, even, again, the ones that aren't my personal favorite, so... Yeah, I, I guess that's why I'm immediately in Yumiko's court and fucking hate this guy already. <laughs> um, I casually glance towards the sound. The man in the expensive suit has a fake smile plastered across his face. His laughter is utterly hollow to the point that it's actually physically unpleasant to hear. That's the forced laugh of a person who hasn't known real amusement in a very long time. Sakiki flinches at the sound. She opens her mouth ever so slightly, takes a few small breaths, and then closes it again. Her sharp gaze is clearly focused on the man in the expensive suit. She watches the man fixedly as he struts along confidently toward the principal. It's the expression of someone sizing up an old and bitter enemy, but there's also something like sadness there. We haven't been formally introduced or anything, but it seems safe to say the man in the suit is her father, Sakaki Miyachi, er, Mi Michiaki. His name fucks me up. Um, and I don't care enough <laughs> to say it right. But I can't, like, shorten it or tweak it too much to, like, make it a... A dig at him because I've already shortened Mitru's name to Meech and I can't damn it <laughs> compared to the man in the pamphlet he seems slightly scrawnier but I'm willing to bet that's just the result of some subtle photographic retouching by his PR people Yumiko simply stares down at him in silence those aren't or those shouldn't be the eyes of someone looking at their father that said they're not full of murderous rage either her eyes are just sad sad and empty <sighs> at the principal's word, I just fucking spit everywhere. Um, at the principal's words, the group stoops a little. The group stoops. I like it. Group stoops, cute boot. We're all about the rhyming here. Um, just a little distance from the uh, dorm. Uh, 
これで終わりにしようがその前に What he got? He turns to his side, fixing the principal with a cold eyed stare. Nen no t a m e n k i k u a a r e a a a n t o it e r u n d a r o Hi, do s t e m o t o With a single irritated grunt, the chairman turns on his heel and begins to walk off. He strides towards the front gate with his party, ex exuding overbearing haughtiness to the end. He doesn't look back. <laughs> Sakiki stares, unblinking at his quietly retreating figure. There's no particular emotion in her face now. She simply watches until the end. When his distant figure reaches the school building and finally passes completely from view, Sakiki drops both hands to the iron rail, leans forward, and heaves a heavy sigh. She stays that way for a long time, looking straight down at the concrete beneath her feet. The sea breeze picks up after a long interruption. Salty air rushes past us from behind. Sakiki's long hair and school uniform flap noisily in the wind. When the gust dies down, there's a moment of perfect silence. Sakiki mutters a few words to the concrete beneath her feet. There's a hint of weakness in her voice. Yeah, that's right. I have for a concise reply. I'm not tactless enough to poke my nose, and nose into other people's business out of mere curiosity. Got me beat. I think we've been over this. I'm not going to ask you anything, but if you have something you want to talk about, I am willing to listen. I don't know what Sakaki really wants from me right now, but I think her words would pretty clearly indicate that she was hoping I'd ask her something. Of course, that doesn't mean I now have free reign to barrage her with questions. That isn't why I'm here in the first place. Why won't you see your father? Is there a reason you're in the school? What exactly do you think about, uh, you know, dickface? There's plenty of things I'm interested in knowing, but it's not like dragging the answers out of her is going to change anything. If explaining things would offer Sakaki some relief, as her classmate, I'm willing to ask those questions. But as long as I don't know that for sure, throwing my curiosity at her would exceed good natured meddling and land solidly in the territory of outright prying. Sorry if you found my reasoning unpleasant. This is just my personality. From Sakaki's expression, I can understand that she doesn't mean that in a negative way. Her usual harsh, prickly aura of rejection seems to have softened somewhat. I mean, yeah. I mean, you always gotta be there to fucking listen to people if they need someone to talk to, man. Be a shoulder to cry on. Be fucking an ear to be lended to someone. Do, do whatever you gotta do. You always gotta try and be that person. I don't know. That's the way I always view it. I'm, like, that's the thing is. I, I, there's never, or at least there's usually never going to be anything I can ever do to fix anyone's problems. I, what the fuck am I going to do? But, I mean, I don't see any reason why I shouldn't always be there to try and listen. Whether that's, you know, friends or family or just some random person out there. Like, I don't know. I don't know. That just seems the right thing to do to me. I don't know. Like I said, talk all you want. I'm not gonna stop you. So, yeah. You borderline just made a smile. I didn't realize that was physically possible. It's adorable. Sakiki pushes her way from the railing and walks across to the door. So, yeah. Sakiki's slender hand throws the door open with a surprising firmness. As soon as she's inside, it closes solidly behind her. The wind picks up again, gusting strongly across the rooftop. A few stray grains of sand from the nearby beach blow into my face. Well, I guess I'll head back myself. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Mm. My apologies. Um, I'm not going to pretend to understand Sakiki right now, but if my arrival at the school, this dorm, my interest into her life can end up working to her advantage somehow, I think I'd like to make that happen. Simple as that. Right now, the fact that I'm living this carefree, peaceful life fills me with guilt. It's a burden I carry with me every waking moment. 
If I can lighten the load of self-condemnation slightly by doing some half-assed pseudo-counselor volunteer work, then there's something in it for me as well. Of course, the way I'm thinking about this is such in such a calculating mercenary way adds a whole new layer of guilt on top of it all. On second thought, I don't know if I should be counseling anyone. Slowly descending the stairs, I mutter quietly to myself. Sinking deeper into a Sunday afternoon melancholy that has nothing to do with the approaching work week, I continue my little soliloquy for some time. Ah. Now that was an interesting one. Again, I'm sorry again that I didn't have a ton to say during a lot of that. I was just trying to pay attention. Um, that's the thing. I suspect there's probably going to be a lot more of that as we go along further in the in the game, but I don't know. It's a thing. Anyway, I want to say a huge thank you again uh, for checking out the video and doing all that. If you guys enjoyed, give it some love, please. It always means the world to me. Um, and like I mentioned randomly in the middle of the video, like a fool. Um, God damn, we got long episodes as of late. Um... I just want to say thank you again for all of the support on the channel in general. Again, we hit 300 subscribers about, like, what, almost exactly four months after we hit 200, um, which is significantly faster than the, the, the previous couple. So, yeah, I don't know. It, I don't know. It just means a lot. You guys are awesome. You guys really are. Anyway, I will catch you guys in the next episode. Until then, though, Tools, doos, and lemons. Yeah. Fucking A. And stuff. And things. They kind of like that Yumiko smile, though. It was nice.